My name is Michael Pendezis. Um, this is Math 241, Probability and Statistics. And today we are going to continue Chapter 6. Uh, this is online lesson number 9. Okay, so next we're up to 6.5.3, which is relating the variance of a random variable to the variance of a set of numbers. Okay? So that is the title of this section. Okay, so if we have a set A, which consists of A1, A2, to A sub capital N. So there's capital N um, objects there, and they're not necessarily distinct. They could be distinct, or they might not be, but there's no requirement that they are or, or not, okay? Uh, so those capital N objects are not necessarily distinct. Um, so the variance of our set A is equal to the sum from I equals one to capital N of A sub I minus A bar squared over capital N, where A bar is the average. A bar is the sum from i equals 1 to capital N of a sub i divided by n. This is the, this fraction, a, or a sub bar, is the average of those n objects, capital N objects. So what you're doing is the variance is the sum of the deviations from the mean, meaning you take each object in the set, subtract the average of the values in the set, and that difference you square it, and you sum up the different, the squares of the differences, and you divide by the number of objects, capital N, in the set, capital A. Okay? As a note, um, if you sum from I equals 1 to capital N of A sub I minus A bar squared, and you divide by capital N, this is equal to the sum from I equals 1 to capital N of A sub I squared minus 2 A sub I um, a bar plus a bar squared. So we're just squaring that out in the thing we're squaring that and sum of the squares. You need to divide it by n there. Um, and so then uh, to, to save some room here, if you do some more algebra, what you end up is you get this is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to capital N of a sub i squared divided by capital N minus a bar squared. Okay? So, um, the variance of the set, this guy, that's this, that's that, right? That's the variance of the set. The variance of the set is also equal to the sum of the a sub i, the squares of the a sub i's divided by capital N minus the square of the average. So next, the possible, the possible values of x are the distinct numbers in the set A. And we denote here as x1, x2, etc., xn. Okay? So f of x of i, the probability of one of those x's is equal, right? So that's equal to the probability that capital X is equal to x of i, is equal to k sub i divided by capital N, where k sub i is the number of elements of a 
that are x sub i. Right? So these x's don't can be repeated, they don't have to be distinct, and so f of x sub i is just how many of the x's are equal to that value you chose. Okay, that's k sub i, and you divide it by the total number of objects, capital N. Okay? So sigma squared, that's x notation for the variance of your random variable x. That's equal to the expectation of x squared minus the square of the expectation of x. And that's equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i squared f of x sub i minus the sum from i equals 1 to n of uh, x sub i f of x sub i that whole sum squared. And this is equal to uh, the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i squared times k sub i divided by capital N um, minus the sum uh, from i equals 1 to n of x sub i times k sub i divided by capital N and that quantity squared, the sum squared. This is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of a sub i squared divided by n minus the sum from i equals 1 to n, uh, capital N. The n's capital lower, the same n, okay? a sub i over capital N uh, squared. The entire fraction squared. And that's equal to um, the sum from i equals 1 to capital N of a sub i minus a bar squared over capital N, which equals to the variance of the set A. Okay? So what we conclude is that the variance of our set x is equal to the variance of a. And so uh, we're going to say here x is the value of the elements selected from set a. Okay? So our conclusion is that the, the conclusion is that then the variance of x is the variance of our set A. So if you have a set A of elements and x is the value of um, the elements selected from uh, element, you're choosing one element, x is the value of the element selected from A, then the variance of x is equal to the variance of that set A. And so that's what's proven here. Okay? Um, and so the homework in this section is on pages 207 to 208. Um, and we're going to look at exercises numbers 1 and 5. Okay? Okay, so, so pages 207 to 208, exercises 1 and 5 for this section. So theorem 6.5, um, the variance of x is equal to e of x squared minus e squared of x. Okay, so that's theorem 6.5.
squared of x is equal to e of x squared. Okay? That's the notation for it. Putting the superscript 2 here, is just, it means that you're taking e of x and you're squaring it. Okay? Uh, so the proof of that theorem is basically um, by theorems um, 6.2 and 6.3, uh, we get, so, um, Okay, so 6.3, the theorem for 6.3, which just say um, E of C is equal to C. The expectation of a constant is that constant. And six, theorem 6.2 uh, was saying, squiggly um, longer line here, 6.2. So 6.2 was saying that E of G of X right, is equal to. Uh, either the sum over x of g of x, f of x, that's if it's discrete, or it's the integral from negative infinity to infinity of g of x, f of x, dx, if it's, um, if it's continuous random variable, okay? So if x is a discrete random variable, this is equal to this, and if it's, um, and if it's a continuous uh, random variable, uh, then an indiscrete random variable, then to that. Okay, so those are the two theorems. Um, and so let's keep going. Okay, so then uh, the proof by those two theorems, we get that the variance of x is equal to e of x minus mu squared. which is equal to e of uh, which is equal to e of x squared minus 2 x mu plus mu squared mu is the average right so that's the average um, and then uh, this is equal to e of x squared minus uh, what's that? plus e of uh, negative 2x mu um, plus e of mu squared. Okay, and, the, and this, so this is equal to e of x squared uh, minus 2 um, minus 2 mu e of x uh, plus mu squared because mu is a constant. So mu squared is a constant, so e of a constant mu squared is just that constant mu squared. And so then this is equal to, um, and so, okay, so e of x, um, right, so this is minus 2 mu squared plus mu squared, so this is minus mu squared. And so you get e of x squared minus e squared of x. And then that's the answer. Okay? So we just show that the variance of x is equal to e of x squared minus e squared of x. That's this. Okay? And so that proves theorem 6.5. Next, uh, theorem 6.6, and that theorem says that the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared 
the variance of x. Okay, so proof of this theorem. Okay, so that's our theorem. And now we're going to prove it. Uh, so by the definition of variance and corollary to theorem 6.4, we get that the variance of ax plus b is equal to the expectation of ax plus b um, minus e of ax plus b squared. Okay, so the, the corollary uh, to theorem 6.4, that's what says um, that E of AX plus B is equal to A times E of X plus B. That's the corollary to 6.4, okay? Um, So now this is equal to um, e in front in, in bracket ax plus b um, minus a e of x um, minus b uh, squared. Okay, so just taking out the constant here, and so getting minus a e of x, and then minus b because the constant is one, and so so it's just just applying this equation here, okay? And then squaring that, uh, and so this is equal to e of, of um, of ax minus um, a e of x squared. That's because the plus b and the minus b cancel. So you're left with ax minus a ex, and then you're taking that and squaring it still in the expectation. And so this is equal to e times um, a squared times x minus e of x. Okay, so you're squaring this whole thing. So if you were to factor out the a here and do a times x minus e of x and then square it, you'd have an a squared that you could factor out here. So there's an a squared there. Um, so that's algebra. Okay, so then the a squared will move out. So you'll get a squared e of x minus e of x. squared. Okay, and that's equal to a squared times the variance of x. Okay, so okay, so then that is um, the variance of x, right? Because this is x minus mu. This is e of x minus mu squared, which is the variance of x. Um, and so that's the end of that proof. So we just proved that the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times variance of x.
theorem 6.6. Okay, so the homework for this section is, um, is page 209, the exercises, um, numbers 1 and 3.